what do the Matilda effect and the Wizard of Oz have in common? Of course, it's one lady. Let me tell you about her. The Matilda effect is a bias against acknowledging women in science and usually attributing their work to their male colleagues. The term was coined by this totally incredible Victorian woman, Matilda Jocelyn Gage. It just so happens that Matilda is also a contributor to the Woman's Bible that Elizabeth Cady Stanton put out in 1895, which is the book that Joanna, my co-host, and I are working through on Biting All the Apples podcast. Hello, plug, go listen after you watch this. Matilda was a very active person in abolition movement in women's suffrage, and she was part of the free thinking movement in the Victorian era. She was such a free thinker that the suffrage movement eventually edged her out. She supported women's rights to divorce and reproductive autonomy, which was quite radical back in the day. It was her free thinking and concern about the lack of separation of church and state that I think made some of her uh, suffrage cohorts a little too nervous, which is the same reason that they diss Stanton's women's Bible work as well. Gage was not a scientist herself, but she published an essay in 1870 that was titled Women as Inventor, and it talked about how women were not given their props, they were not given their flowers for all they had done for science. The term Matilda Effect was coined in 1993 by scientist Margaret W. Rossiter. It's so awesome that she's finally getting her due. Even before the Women's Bible, Gage had written a book called Women, the Church, and State. The subtitle to her book is the original expose of male collaboration against the female sex. I mean, that's pretty serious for 1893. Her home in Fayetteville was part of the Underground Railroad and a meeting spot for people interested in the suffrage movement. After Matilda was pushed out of the suffrage movement, she formed her own organization, the Women's National Liberal Union, and it was the very first organization dedicated to the separation of church and state. Her son-in-law was L. Frank Baum. That's right. The Wizard of Oz. She even had influence over the Wizard of Oz. Think about it. Women rule. We here at Biting All the Apples will continue to share all of the interesting rabbit holes we go down as we work our way through this text from 1895.